When I went back to business school, I'd been out of undergrad for over 10 years, and I really wasn't expecting to have an experience where you make friends and get involved in organizations. I'd done that in undergrad, and I think the BBSA is what really pulled me in, and it was the people that pulled me in. I think the BBSA draws its strength from being a family. It's truly a community. I think that that was one of the things that really really made an impact on me as a prospective student. We have lawyers, doctors, engineers, entrepreneurs, and uh, it's definitely a very talented class, and uh, they lend that talent to the development of the BBSA. The community works so enormously well, and it is wonderful to have an organization with the kind of enthusiasm and uh, spirit that the BBSA represents. One of the things that happened when I was here in 1976 through 78 was that the black students coming in here were rallied uh, around kind of a real central cause. We all came out of growing up in the 60s and 70s. And most of the black students then came from um, small black colleges, Virginia Union, Virginia State, Central State. Both the um, black students and the white students had pretty much grown up in a segregated society. When I went to high school and, and college even, and even junior high school, you know, we really had to fight, literally, fist fight to stay in school. And all of us came through those similar experiences so that when we arrived here in graduate school in the late 70s, uh, we had really kind of a central theme of fighting to make our way. I would say it was an oasis for, uh, for the black students uh, today. I would say um, it's a mechanism of empowerment. In one word, I would definitely describe the BBSA as family. 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 The BBSA is my family. It was my family here in New York and at Columbia Business School when I didn't have a family here. You know that you're amongst friends? and they're there to support you and to help you grow. They're the people that if I were in distress at 2 o'clock in the morning, those are the, some of the people that I would call. As GBA president, I ran with the theme of community with joy. So the reason that we can have community with joy in a larger GBA community is that I had that and a strong community with joy with BBSA. One of the wonderful things you get being a member of the BBSA is that companies come to you? Uh, I think in the professional world people definitely see them as the front line and so recruiters take the group seriously. They get hundreds, literally hundreds of students go and try and talk to some of the associates that come. With the BBSA we all somehow seem to get an audience with these guys. We do a great job of living in the two worlds that we live in. Live in the BBSA world and in the larger community. Because the BBSA has also been a very active organization and a very organized uh, entity on campus, uh, it in many ways also sets an example for other organizations. It brings in intellectually stimulating uh, discussions and events on campus. It's also a lot of fun. Last night we, I, I went to uh, a, B, a BBSA HBA um, salsa merengue party, you know, and um, it was good to see black folks dancing. The entire student body packed into the room, uh, all kinds of excitement, and, and then what to my wondering, I should appear, uh, but our vice dean doing a belly dance. We can get together and go to, you know, a club and get all dance and get down to some hip hop and reggae. And uh, it keeps, I think, the organization fresh and vital. We, we add a different kind of sense of, sense, sense of culture, a different sense of community. And, um, and I think it's important for us to celebrate that and um, you know, celebrate, our, celebrate our blackness. I think the role the BBSA has played is that it's given black students here a strong foundation uh, to compete to understand the dynamics of not only the business school experience but the post-business school experience. These people around me have set the bar so high. Uh, if I can just achieve a smidgen of what some of the folks, what all of the folks in this organization have achieved um, in uh, their short lifetimes, I'll be happy.
we certainly would love to uh, show our appreciation to all that have played a hand in, in the past 30 years. Most importantly, our sponsors who have been with us from day one. Thank you. And we'd also like to thank our members for their undying dedication and commitment to the development of the organization and our alumni for the wisdom that they've brought back to the campus and shared with us uh, throughout the years. It's certainly been a great 30 years and we look forward to another 30 years of success. Thank you.